Hello beautiful souls, welcome back. Antoinette from Antoinette Intuitive Tarot and Jewellery. Um, so if you're watching this, please remember to give me a thumbs up so I know you like it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified when I upload more videos of um, things to come. I know I've been missing for a short minute, but I've had lots on my plate, so I apologize. I'm back now. So here's my Halloween setup and it wouldn't be Halloween without um, the Seasons of the Witch Samhain Oracle. So this um, is illustrated by Garda Rose, is how I'm pronouncing it. And it's a very nice sturdy box by Lorraine Anderson and Juliette Diaz. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to show you the box. So it's nice. It's got lots of red on it and obviously the barcode, very important. Um, so let's have a look. Everything's lastminute.com at the moment here. I don't know about you, but this has arrived. Tomorrow's Halloween, so just in time. And these are Rockpool Oracle reading cards. They do have an app as well. Um, but as I understand, this is the Samhain edition, and they're going to be doing these for each of the Sabbaths for those who enjoy following them, um, which I'm quite excited about. So I'm curious to see what comes through. So the box is really nice with red um, matching lid and and we have a nice thick book with this one, 176 pages, what coloured pictures, it really is a nice book. Let's go to the front and see what we have here. So contents and it tells you the cards. So a short introduction, that authors, the illustrator, there's a quick introduction. So we had no idea what we were going to do when we first decided to write an oracle deck. Both had a dream to become tarot and oracle writers. And so the Seasons of the Witch was born, Samhain edition. So they're broken up into three sections. We have the Witches Familiars, Witch Tools and Samhain. So that'll be quite interesting as we have a quick flick through. So we have some card spreads, three card spreads um, with all different correspondences to three card spreads because we all like that. Uh, an interview your deck spread, the graveyard spread, spiritual council, reclaiming my power, the Rotten Apple, Transformation, oh there's loads, Weekly Outlook, The Witch's Tool Spread, Moon Phases, that's going to be quite useful, um, Manifestations, Bringing Your Attention, so we have the Shadow Spread, still going, The Healer Spread, Coming of Winter, and the Athame, and then we're into the Oracle cards. So the first card is um, All Hallows Eve, Keywords, Emotions and Summoning. And then we have a nice little write-up about the card. And we also have reverses, so it does do reverses with this deck, which is um, quite nice. Okay, so that's enough about the book. Let's look at the cards. So I went ahead and took all the polythene off apart from the sleeve. Um, so we have some lovely backs which match the lids. And they're quite reflective, so I do apologise. I'll try not to get too much reflection on them. And look at this. For those who have a love of metallic edges. I do love them, but they chip ever so. However, it never stops me pieing them. But I've been told that if you get like a candy red ink pad, you can touch these up. So if you ever need to, that's what you do. Um, and they do slide nicely. So let's have a look. Just hold them up here. So we have um, All Hallows Eve. The altar, ancestors, apples, taste one, to taste one must swallow it whole and beneath the satin flame hides drowning waters. <laughs> Very interesting. Oh, the banshee. Two cards. The bat. Cat. 
the brew. Candle magic. Cauldron. Coming of winter. Crystals and herbs. The dark moon. Divination card. That's nice. The elders. Obviously, that's what Samhain is about. Our ancestrals and the elders. And we have the elements. Frog. Graveyard. Greet the darkness. Interesting. Grief. Haunted. The breaking of the floor beneath your naked feet, the creaking of the walls as the cold flesh as the cold kisses flesh. You're never really alone when in the company of hauntings within a bone. Mm. It's very spooky. The healer. Intuition. I like that with the third eye. Journey. I think many of us are feeling that at the moment. Mischief. Nature spirits. Owl. Potions and spells. It's that time for making Halloween goodies. Protection. Pumpkin, <laughs> as per my setup. Rebirth, reflection, ritual, rooted, seduction, silence. There is sweet embrace in the nothingness, stillness brings a presence of self fully embodied. The spider. What a wild web we weave, dear child. A delicious mystery untamed. Reminds me of Coraline for some reason. Third harvest. Here we have transformation. The underworld. The veil. Yep, it's thinning. Voices. Listening within, I would say, which wolf card forty four. So that's the last card in there. So let's see how they do shuffle. Pull a quick card, and we'll uh, consult the book to see what we get. I think because I haven't used these, and I'm. I'm usually tarot. I don't. I do own a few oracle decks, but I consult the books for those. But um, my knowledge does really sit within tarot, and that's where most of my intuition is. Okay, let's see what we have. So we have protection. This is my house, stained by the very blood flowing through its walls, covered in a veil of delicious prayers, yet deadly to those who dare to lift. It's hidden. So let me put that one there. Let's see what the book says. So we have card 29. That's going to fall, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's because it's spinning. There we go. Here we go. So the key words for this are safety and hidden. Many of us have had to search out our own safety since beginning our journeys as spiritual healers, students and teachers. We face criticism for being witches, face jealousy for being true to our paths and had to withstand attacks from our own egos. But we rise and keep going with fearless determination. We know we have our spiritual team, our ancestors, guides and angels to support us and keep us from harm. You are always protected. 
my dearest witch, no matter how scary the world may seem or how many things bump in the night, within you is a space that cannot be harmed, penetrated or shaken. Here you can retreat to heal and find comfort. You need only step through the veil into the arms of those who love and care for you. If you have drawn protection, know that all is well and you are safe. Your spiritual support team will protect you from harm. You are protected from hexes, evil eyes, danger, psychic attacks. You are even protected from the dangers of your earth-based ego. Know that you can handle anything when you are feeling unsafe. Speak to the powers that be. Ask them to guide you where you do not have eyes and keep you safe when you are in harm's way. They are always walking with you and are ready to provide you with additional support whenever you feel the need to ask. So, make sure you set your protections, your intentions, your spells, your salt circles, whatever it is that you do, your wards, um, and ask for your angels, ancestors, sacred ones to um, protect you too as you go through your spiritual journey. So have a fantastic Halloween, Samhain, All Hallows' Eve, and I wish you much love, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.